you need to know like um, how long do you want to keep selling your shoes for so you okay. need to know and that in order to determine how many stocks you want to bring in mm -hmm. so if you first see that okay for this first order of shoes it's going to last you for six months then you do a forecast of how much sales you're going to make so that determines how much order you're going to bring in in this video tina from baltasar is going to give her tips on how you can be successful in business if you're just starting out this video is for you so check this video out Please subscribe to Marvin Gurmo's YouTube channel. And hit the bell and stay till the end of the video so that you hear her backstory on how she started her own business. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions. Some of them you know already, but some of them it's okay. very, uh, very, very raw. Okay, I'll try okay. my best. Number one. Yes. Okay. Should so, you follow your passion in business? Yes, follow your passion because without passion, you won't be able to deliver, you won't be able to do well in your work. How do you figure out that, hey, this is something I'm passionate about, however, what if it's not making money? <laughs> like for example, a lot of people want to bake, but they're wala naman nag order sa kanila. When True. do they pull the plug? You know, when you're trying to really try your best na and do everything you can, and talagang walang pag-asa, you need to really save yourself, right? Okay. So you need to get out as early as possible. Okay. Um, find something else that you're you can good at, that you're good at. Try to learn something new and then try to turn it into a business. Like in my case, lang kasi, I'm really passionate about fashion, e-commerce, retail. That's what I used to do. So when this opportunity came along, parang good match talaga siya. Kaya I said, yes, I can do this. I can go full on and do this. Okay. What, how do you define passion? Passion is something that when you start your day, you are like really excited to do it. Mm -hmm. Passion is something that um, despite so many challenges that come your way, you're still able to do it. You're still able to face your people, your your team, despite everything. You know, you need passion. It has to come from within. And you know, lang. <laughs> but because people always say that, uh, and I believe in this also, no? passion is uh, you will never work a single day in your life when you're uh, when you're doing something that you love. However, what they don't talk about also is passion is you doing the things that are hard, but, but no matter how hard it is because you love it, you will still push through right. and do it as exactly. well. Exactly. Mm. Like if you're passionate about your job, if you're working in corporate and you really, really like it, go on, do it, and you'll flourish. It will really show the money. Okay. But if you're starting to really feel that, you know, I'm not in engaged in what I'm doing, it's, it's probably, you know, time to think about What's your next step? What do you need to do? What's gonna make you happy? Find your passion. Go out there, especially while you're young. Take the, take the risk. Okay, here's what's interesting. Galeng, galeng talaga guys. So comment below if you think she has so much wisdom. Oh, totoo. But feeling like this will be the best video in my entire YouTube channel. Anyways, question number two. If you are starting today, lang, as in, uh, you lost everything. You're, you're. Can I say you're in your thirties? <laughs> you're in your, you're in your thirties. We're in your thirties. If you're starting from. Scratch. How will you do it? How will you build everything up? Especially right now, no. Uh, a lot of people are most likely because of what's happening in the economy. Things are not going so well. So, how would you start from scratch? Firstly, I would say go out there, meet people that you can actually um, that can actually help you build this business from scratch. You know, you can't do it. You can't do it alone. You need other people to help you. So go out there and look for people like-minded like you who can join you in the business. And number two, it's time to beef up on those skills. You know, read a lot about it. There's so many information. There's so much information out there in the internet. When the family's already asleep, I still go on the phone. I read articles. I read things that can actually help me. I um, apply in some online courses. Up to now, I still do Whoa. that. It can help you. If you're down, Turn it into something positive. Do mm. your best. Yeah. Question number three. You said you work hard, right? I try to work you hard. Try to work hard. Okay, what's the difference between working hard and trying to work hard? Or <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Uh, work hard or work smart? Work smart. Because? Uh, because it's not just about work lang naman eh. 
your life is filled with other stuff. You, know? oh. you have family, you have relationships, you have other people that need your help. So work smart, efficiently as possible. Okay. Meaning, um, if you can do things better, if you need to get people to help you, do that. If you need to do something yourself, okay, choose love and oh. delegate. Don't be afraid to delegate and to ask others for help. Question number four, if you don't have capital, mm. how will you start your business? Because I feel like, guys, never have a problem. <laughs> Oh goodness. You know, um, I would say if you don't have capital, mm -hmm. you need to look to people like Marvin Journal here to invest in your business. Um, look for investors who believe in your product, who believe in you, um, who can actually you know, um, invest in, in you. Because they're not just investing in the product or in the business, they're actually investing in you. But do you suggest that when they invest, they still do uh, they have a role in the company or pera lang talaga lalagay nila then you do everything also? It depends eh. It depends on you, your business, your, your situation. So, the feeling more you can really run it yourself, by all means, go. And then you give up. They can just um, invest na lang in, in the business. Pero if you feel that they have other services that they can offer that's helpful to your business, mm -hmm. like if you have a friend who's an expert in, I don't know, operation, if you have a friend who's an expert in SEO, Mm. Them in. Mm. Talk to them, they might be interested. Get them on board. Okay, now this one. This is question number five, okay. six? Yeah. Okay, you've been in the retail fashion industry for quite some time. If I would start a business in line with that, what do you think are the emerging trends for emerging 2020 trends. that will prob not probably emerging, but uh, things that may do well in this space for 2020? Actually, it's been emerging for a while. Like the beauty industry definitely mm -hmm. is something that has been steadily growing in the past years. So the beauty industry, hospitalization industry, those things, you know, like mga akala mo whitening products are dead. No, it's still actually very much strong right now. Mm. Anything to do with like um, paganda, okay. slimming, yeah, it's super okay. Siya. Number two, I would have to say is online education. So people out there who are an expert in their own field, they actually give out online courses. Mm. So that's actually a growing thing, I would say. So parang ang daming gumaganon right now eh. Hindi uh, na, na talaga ang traditional classroom setting, pero online education. I think especially right now, because a lot of people are not going out, <laughs> so you can expect that to uh, even grow. And I've, I've seen this in the news that online, uh, even universities now are gonna offer courses online, online as well. Yeah. When would you know that you have to put your business online versus starting a brick and mortar store. It depends on the product. Mm. But if it's something that you can actually sell online, a service, then okay, now you can do that. Yeah. Pero kasi nowadays, mga offline shops, they establish online stores, complementary, okay. complement each other, and to get a bigger market share of the industry. It really depends on your business. What's your dream for Balthazar? Um, our dream for Balthazar is to go global, to be an international brand and to be known for providing quality products without breaking the bank basically that it can happen. You can get good stuff out there without having to pay so much money all the time. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's about being able to work smart around it. If you have 100 million pesos right now, excess of everything, now, business, real estate, yet oh. it's just excess, what would you do with it? What would I do? Girl, partially, I would invest. And then, of course, I'll save it also. Tapos the others, I'll give to my family. That was for charity also. Charity, you mga things that you hold dear to your heart. You're not, you're not gonna enjoy some, grab it, access to it, you're not oh. gonna enjoy some of it, you're not yun, buying it. Yun, 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 part oh. of the investment. Invest okay. in yourself. Okay. Invest in family vacations. Take mm. that trip while you can also. Dream destination. I Iceland. I heard mm. so much good Amazing. stuff about it, right? Amazing. I've never been there. I would love to go there. Iceland's uh, amazing, super. Yeah. With 100 million, you can buy a lot of <laughs> I don't know if you can buy, you can, foreigners can buy stuff there, no, pero. Uh, amazing. You have kids. Will you send them to college knowing that they would be an entrepreneur? Or would you just want them to start their own business from the start? Context, I'll provide context to this. Some people are saying that what they teach in, in school is outdated. That's one. Number two, some of the things, some of the people who are also teaching there, since they're focused really being teachers, 
most of those things are academic also. And number three, uh, school will teach you to become a generalist and not a specialist. I graduated from my course for more than 15 years now. I've never used my uh, learnings oh, from okay. Rizal. Rizal, 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 Rizal. Yeah. yeah, so things like that. So, oh, parang okay. instead of trying to be a generalist, learning things that you don't need, <clears throat> won't it be better trying to learn specialized skills na lang? Okay. For me, I believe kasi in education. So, say businesses, they come and go. Very education, it's there to stay. Mm. So, nobody can take that from you. It's something that you earn. Um, on the other side, on the flip side, I do believe that the education system now in some countries are trying to re revolutionize the way they um, develop the curriculum in such a way that they're trying to teach life skills now to the students. Because it is true, a lot of the subjects now are purely academic and purely, you know, um, I would say it's not very useful for the real world. So I would say, yeah, education system is slowly catching up and um, we should still have that um, foundation. It's super important. So I'm, I'm definitely going to have my kids go to school, but at the same time, I want them to you know, live a balanced life and okay. learn stuff outside of the school also. Last two questions. For people who are starting out, they have money. They have, say, 2 million pesos. What do you suggest? 2 million down payment to buy the house. 2 million put it in a business but you can rent it. If you feel that um, you're going to need to settle down soon, okay, yeah, or you, and you have no plans of starting a business, do invest in that house, go ahead. But if you feel that um, you're not gonna need a house anytime soon, because the house, you need mm. to pay for it like monthly. And you're not gonna be able to live in it yet until you have a house. Another option is to use that money to start a business and to start it right. So do research well, para rent, it's worth it. Para then the risk is worth it. But what I'm saying is, you kinda like have to see. Which do you think, do you really need a house right now? Okay. So, if you don't need a you can use that money to start a business. So, if your business earns, then you can buy it for now. Okay, I said last two questions, but I thought of two more. Uh, Baltasar is a good shoe, yes? yes? But I always tell people in business, it's not the best that always wins. It's the best known that always wins. What would be your tips for people that if I want to start this business, how will people hear about me, know about me? You know the cliche that the word of mouth, okay. superpower. It's true. Um, when you start a business, don't aspire to rise up so quickly. Do it slowly first, and make sure that what you're selling, your product, you're also proud of it. Because people will hear about it. And when people hear about it, then they're gonna come to you. So for us, it's not only important to be known, but also we wanna be proud of the products that we have. Okay, actually, every week we call our customers and we check in on them, like, hey, how do you find the product? Are you happy with it? Are you happy with the size? And um, yun, so parang for us, make sure that you really have a solid product to begin with. And then the fame, will come later on. It will come later on. And you can build on that. You can build on brand awareness. But slowly. We believe in treading slowly and mm. cautiously. Amazing. Lastly, tips for people to be successful in what they do. Okay. How to be successful in business. Um, number one, know yourself really, really well. And um, do your research well on your products and your services. Um, know your competitors. And um, have a lot of faith and um, sound um, judgment and everything that you do. Don't rush into everything. Um, think about it carefully. Have an amazing support system inside and outside of your company. Whether you know, these are people that you'll be living with, working with every day. So it's super important that you know they give you the right um, um, inspiration. And I would say in anything that you get yourself into, um, know the risks. Know the risks involved. Um, I wouldn't put all your savings in one pot. You know, I would diversify as much as possible if you can, and quickly to learn new things every day. Lastly, business or love life? Ooh, <laughs> ooh, that's a really good and smart question. I would say love life muna. Mm. Tapos yung kain dalawa mag business together.
Very, very good answer. Ako kasi, I'll pick love life. Oh, first, kasi wala akong choice. Pag hindi ka guwapo, kailangan love life naman. Totoo, totoo, totoo. Kaya nga, okay sa kang magbalto sa shoes kasi pag hindi ka guwapo, bawi ka sa shoes na maganda eh. So, yun yung panlaban ko sa buhay. Oh. Alright, so I hope you guys got a lot from this. I hope that her insights, uh, something that will help you wherever you are in life, business, personal, or even in your finances as well. So, I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon. Bye, everyone. If there's anything that I'll put in terms of priority, it will always be my wife. Because I did it for my wife, so if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be doing other things.